Hey guys, it's Fulkites here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City. Let's go in front of me today, 2022-23 Upper Deck Extended Series. No rest for the weary or leery. This stuff is good in theory, except it tends to be overpriced out of the gate and then it drops off a cliff. Contingent on the print run of the cards, of course. So configuration, eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box, 192 cards, total base set, 501 through 7 honey, including all stars, by the way. Then the young gun, 701 through 730. And then the first round draft cards, for whatever reason, 731 through 750. So only 30 young guns, right? Of course, there's parallels within a box break. Expect your two numbered or rare ratioed cards, six young guns, first round rookies, which could it be an Owen Power, Slavkowski, or Wright, etc. Four upper deck canvas cards, four 0708 upper deck retro cards, uh, two of the 0607 black diamond retros, one base French parallel, one clear dominance or smooth grooves, and one of each of the others, which are the 97 collector's choice, the 97 SBX retros, the 99 retro history class, and the blue dazzlers, right? So do look for the 0708 retro young guns and the 0607 black diamond rookie gems guys there are rare black diamond emerald autos number to 25 or 10 but there's only 390 in the entire population so good luck with that there's also the 97 98 spx rookies and holograph effects of course there's bronze and gold parallels of those uh, also keep in mind the 97 collector's choice commemorative cards are tiered they're composite cards and they're tiered there's also as i said the 99 history class die cuts there's die cuts of those and black dominance inserts of course and the all-star weekend canvases uh, look for those all-star weekend canvases but there's black and white canvas um i guess easter eggs and printing plates of those as well and look for the champs rookies there's champs rookies in this uh, product so let's have at it guys uh it's a bit clunky this box in fact it's almost as clunky as this box which is what 96 97 i can't remember what this is but i'm breaking this soon yeah it's 96 97 uh series two so clunky clunky box man so I recorded the intro of this, and then I just now saw a bit of Ziri's video, just the opening, because the box arrived. So I went downstairs, got this box, and he was bitching about the price. I kind of agree with that. I definitely agree with that, but it is a throwback product, guys. Also, you don't have guaranteed young guns anymore because you have those draft picks or whatever they're called. So it's gonna be kind of interesting. In terms of the main young guns, I personally, I guess I would say Marchenko, Ratu, Bergen, um, Bergerin, Urson, Parsonin, uh, Alexandra Holmberg, uh, Olison, Holmstrom, uh, Foodie, kind of the guys I'd be looking for. But uh, let's rock and roll, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, so here we go. So we have Parise. Oh, right off the bat, man, we have one of the throwback young guns. That's exactly what you. Oh my God, look at this. Two young guns in one pack. So talk about this. That's awesome. I love it. So good first pack. Maybe it's our best pack of the box. We'll see. Calvin DeHaan, Parise, uh, Kemper, and you guys saw who those young guns are, right? So we have Claude Giroux, and we do, oh wow, not only that, that is crazy, man. So this Holloway is number 200, so it's an exclusive. Wicked, man, that is wicked, that is so cool. And there we have the Oscar Olison. He's actually a decent prospect. He's one of the guys I'm looking at. I know he's a late first rounder, so we'll see. He's playing with the big boys too, so that's helpful. And in terms of Easter eggs, look for the snow spray autos per usual. The 2001, 2002 Upper Deck Young Gun Retros. I know there's a Zegris of that. Young Gun Acetates, the base photo variations. I know there's an Ollie Wally in the penalty box. So look for all that stuff. Also look for all-star cards. All right, guys, so let's have at it here. Larkin. Uh, so here we did hit off the hop, we did hit one of these draft, uh, first round drafts, uh, Poulin, okay. Continuing on, uh, Orkstrin, Zach Axton Reese, and Troy Terry. To keep it quick guys, I'll probably just blow through the French and the All-Stars, just so you guys know. Uh, but we hit another young gun. Whoa, we hit an acetate young gun. And it is in fact a blue jacket, which could bode well. What? That's very cool. These first two packs have just been bonkers, guys. And look at that, man. Look at that. We hit the Marcus Bjork. Okay, so not necessarily the best one, I have to say. Uh, although he did play up in the show, but that's very, very cool. So two packs, three young guns. I mean, what a start. What a start to this break, man. Just crazy Bert Humperdinck here. Tom Wilson. Uh, Headman, and of course that's an all-star, and we do have a pink Dazzlers, and it's Crawl, uh, Gustafson, and people in the right jersey, so that's good. 
One of the benefits of extended beyond the Easter eggs is the fact that we actually have people in the right jerseys for the most part. So continuing on guys, we have Strawman and we do have an updeck canvas of Klingberg. I love that people are more or less in the right jersey. There's an all-star of Kyle Connor, man. He's super underrated in the NHL and Dalino had a great year. The SBX retros are actually throwback to the basketball cards from that era where there was a Jordan, I believe. So we do have an extended series checklist. So this is a base checklist, I gather. Jack Hughes continuing on. Another young gun, Seashik. I can't believe how many young guns we're hitting. Another kind of depth player, I gather. Uh, great jersey, though. Uh, man, Geeky and Labushkin. So, man, the hits just keep on coming. It's almost like a hot box at this point. There's Aiden Hill. His stock's gone up, that's for sure. Ben Sherratt, Jimmy VC, And this is a 2007 throwback, I believe. And it is. It's a Burkowski. Very nice. And Iberdo. So I'm just going to splash through the cards as best I can, guys. Um, you know, this is not my favorite product. It's a good product. It's a fun product. We just have to wait for the price to dip is what I'd say about it. So we do have a Kirill. So this is one of the commemorative um, collector's choice ones. Kind of weird. I think it's the, I'm not sure. It might be the You Crash the Game um, cards. It could be those You Crash the Game cards. It's hard to say. That's what they look like to me. I don't know if you remember that set. I vaguely remember it. I used to have the set. I gave it away. I gave it away to one of my subscribers, which is something I'm wanting to do on occasion. All right. Uh, we do have an insert here. Ethan Bear, McDonough. You know, McDonough is Leeds. I think he's like top four all players plus minus of his era. So is Sid the Kid, by the way. It's just and it's the other two are Bergeron and Marshawn, if you're curious. And we do have the Michelli Smooth Grooves. This is a beautiful uh, card here. And it is an acetate plastic type card, in case you're wondering. And there's Matty Kachuk. And Wallstrom, Ollie Wally. So that's not the penalty box version of him. Everybody's commenting on the Keith Kachuk. Hit. Oh, so there you have a Caden Gooley Habs mojo with our first round um, non-young gun, I guess. Kessel, Mrazic, and uh, Ryan Carpenter. So of course the hit by Kachuk was a clean hit. Uh, to me, what was most amazing, oh, another upper deck canvas, Anthony Manta. Uh, to me, what was most amazing about it, the other Giroux was the all-star, right? But what was so impressive, oh, look at this, we hit the Patrick Kane. So this would be a triple diamond. It'd be nice to hit a rookie of these. That's very cool, man. Throwback 2006, 2007. Uh, yeah, to me, what was most impressive about it was the fact that Eichel got back up, skated off. It looked like his surgery, which is sort of landmark surgery for the sport, was in jeopardy. And in his first shift back, he sauces the puck to Marcia so, and all-star, I mean, I'm gonna miss the French if I haven't already. Oh, there's Adrian Kempe, 2007, and ends the game. I mean, basically, de facto ends the game. I was so impressed. That's how he returns, skates on the ice, sauces the puck, shows his great vision, and ends the game, and probably solidifies his bid or Marcheseau's bid on the Consmite Trophy. I was really impressed. It's not about how you fall, it's about how you get up, guys. That's my feeling on that. There's a Sorokin Blue Dazzlers, okay. Uh, Uyghur, Demko, and what is this? It, this is just a base card, I guess. And whenever I see this color, I think it might be a young gun, of course. Really, really impressed with Eichel. Um, you know, I, I was concerned about him. I was really concerned about him. People said he had his head down. He didn't have his head down, he had his head up. He was looking up ice and that's why he got hit. And somebody cut, two players cut through his vision just as Kachuk approached, so he, didn't, so he missed him. So this is very cool. So this is one of the history uh, cards. It's also a throwback card. It's not the die cut version. I think the die cuts are numbered, so this is the base one, if you will. Very cool stuff, guys. And an all-star, Clayton Keller, who had a fantastic year. So sorry to skim right through them, guys, but it, there's just so many packs in this product. It's just crazy to me. Oh, look at this. All right. So this is one of the throwbacks to uh, of SPX. This, in fact, is the basketball throwbacks. Absolutely, very cool looking car too. And of all people, we hit right. So that's not a bad one to hit. It's a rookie one. That's excellent, I like it. Very cool, and there's Nick Suzuki. I love seeing Suzuki on the box and on the packs, guys. So they call those retro blue skies, I guess. Uh, continuing on, what is this? It's an upper deck canvas, and it's the new. He also had a spectacular year. Uh, yeah, Romanov, he likes to block shots and that's about it. And we have a Tristan Jari all-star who goes flying. So definitely a young gun in this pack. So Trocek, Dandanov, he's actually in the wrong uniform. Uh, Josh Mahura, 
Vassy. And behind the Dermot, we do have a Timo Meyer All-Star. So who's this is the question. Any ideas, guys? I don't think these cards are gonna have much value for sure. We did in fact hit the Callahan Burke card. Cal Burke was not drafted. You know what's really funny is everybody's talking, of course, about uh, Parsonen and Parsonen, I think he was drafted in the seventh round. I mean, he had a great year last year, but it's not as if he was drafted particularly high. Oh, look at this, we have another one. What? That is wicked. That could potentially be the Shane Wright, right? Assuming he has a card. So, wow, Pat Maroon, Austin Matthews, All-Star. This has just been a great box. I have to say for this product, it's just been rife with goodies, man. Uh, no, you know who it is, it's Matty Beneers, right? Is, does it say? Am I? Can I not read? It's, there it is. Oh my God. You know, it really is like the 2007 8 ones. You could not read those. That's what I remember most about them. So that's very cool. It's a tribute, mind you guys. It's a tribute, probably mass produced for this mass produced product. That's the thing, too. People think the prices of these young guns will go up, but man, they mass produce this, the heck out of this stuff now. But very, very content with that. So Kent Johnson, that's a good one. All right. Forsling and Zakorinsky. I mean, Parsons 6'3". I mean, he's a big boy. He looked really good. Of course, he's a center, which is a big deal for this. Another Young Guns. My God, so many of them. I almost feel like this is a hot box at this point. All right. I mean, we could hit a Foodie. Foodie is the brother of Foodie, and his dad actually played in CFL. I don't know if you guys knew that. Uh, Anti Ranta. I mean, these are pointless factoids, but uh, I do have them on hand for no apparent reason. And this is Urson. Now this is one that I really wanted, actually. This is definitely one that I really wanted. I mean, not that he looked great, he was average, I'd say. Um, but depending on what happens with Carter Hart, whether he stays in Philly, whether he's healthy, uh, Urson could certainly see some action. And this could potentially be another young gun and it could potentially be a canvas young gun. I can't believe how stacked this box is, man. This is like a hot box. Um, I'll take it, I'll take it. So behind the Justin Hall, who everybody hates, which breaks my heart. I mean, it's just so easy to pile on the guy. You know, he was really good at the beginning of the year. But yeah, I know, people hate, they despise him. I get it, I get it. So what is this? It is in fact an upper deck canvas. Whoa, you know what it is? Oh my God. I thought that it was a young gun and it's a Jack Plant. How sick is that? How sick is that? This is the Legends. So there's the Legends and then there's the All-Star Weekends, right? So it isn't the All-Star, obviously. It's one of the Legends. That is so cool. How beautiful is that? Now, is this a black and white parallel? Is that what this is? I don't even know because I haven't seen any of the cards. So it could potentially, because I know that the black and whites are one in 1000 plus. So I'm not sure, but that that's so cool. It's like the perfect hit for me guys, because that is my avatar. I mean, come on, what a box. This box has been bonkers, man. And we did hit a Thomas Bordalo. So this is a single star or a single diamond, if you will. Man, I can't believe this, how kind this, this product has been so kind to me, guys. Uber kind. Wow, wow, wow. And this is just a 2007 um, tribute one. I probably, so I missed the French one. It's in here somewhere, guys. I'm not gonna worry about it. And this is the Crosby, of course. Why not, why not? So that's basically it, guys. I have to say that box was bam. It was blam. For extended, for sheezy. I mean, I, you know, my excitement, I can't even contain my excitement throughout this break because look at this. So sure, we hit our upper deck canvases. We had two Dazzlers. We hit a Shane Wright. Very cool, right? Um, Rookie Jam. So this is a single one, I guess, as opposed to the triple black diamond here. A couple of these old retros, including the Crosby, a Michelli, three. So we received three of these first round drafts, right? But we also received one, two, three, four, five, goalie mojo, five, including uh, this Bjork. Okay, Bjork's not the best player, but we actually hit an acetate, which is really welcome. Then we hit two young gun retros, including this Dylan Holloway, shockingly numbered to 100, so it's an exclusive, it's beautiful, as well as the Beniers. And to me, the hit of the box from my perspective, obviously, evidently, given the nature of my avatar, is the black and white 
Jack Plant. I mean, again, I won't talk about value because these cards have nominal value, but for me, this is a sentimental collection uh, PC card. So there you go, guys. Super excited, super happy. What a break. So guys, if you missed it, check out my last break of SP Legends. I hit another epic bucket list card. Uh, also, guys, I will be breaking Leaf art of hockey i promise so do me the honor guys sub like hashtag dryden i love you all full cards live and direct from a place called brooklyn new york city with ash in the air there's like ash falling from the sky